my channel i'm gina of gina renee rm budgets and i'm so happy that you have joined me for yet another video if you are new here i am a zero-based budgeter who utilizes the cash and cashless envelope system to manage my finances and help me on my journey to debt freedom i do videos about budgeting cash stuffings grocery hauls, couponing, a little bit of weight loss, you name it. So if those types of things interest you, then please take a moment right now and subscribe to my channel. And don't just stop there. Turn on your notification bell so that you can be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Some of my videos are time sensitive, such as some of my grocery sales and of course some of my really hot coupon deals so it will benefit you to view those videos as soon as i post them so that you don't miss out on the savings that being said if you are a returning subscriber you guys thank y'all so much this is like the best community everybody is so supportive like we rally behind each other we encourage each other we promote each other i mean you name it this community couldn't be more supportive and i just want to give everybody a great big thank you all right so i'm here with a cash stuffing it's going to be my weekly cash stuffing first for my wallet and then i'm going to go on to my bi-weekly um stuffing with some of my new plans that i laid out if you don't know what i'm talking about i'm going to be relocating back to chicago illinois not technically chicago but my hometown to be closer to my parents and if you want more details and how i revamped my entire budget in order to make this move happen debt free <laughs> um then i will i'll add that video in one of the cards probably right up here somewhere and you can check that out and some of my other videos you know you're more than welcome to look at the old videos too but anyway enough chatting let's get to the cash stuffing got my wallet and the cash all right so i got a little bit left this time but i'm gonna explain it to you so we're not going to count this just yet but let's go through this wallet first all right so as you can see that ain't no baby bill either so essentials for me is my food and household together. I don't like separating it because normally I get everything all together and your girl just don't have the time to be doing all that separating. So I combine my uh, funds together. So last week, the sales weren't that great. Look at that, $50. The sales weren't that great. And so I decided that we could just hold off a little bit and use what we have um now don't get me wrong during this time i don't suggest that everybody just exhaust everything in their freezer and refrigerator because you know there is talk of a shortage i can see some items um not just being short but the prices are like going up pretty much every time i go to the store so i wanted to just basically rotate my inventory i didn't want to have stuff and next thing you know i'm adding on top adding on top and i have stuff at the bottom of the deep freezer that hasn't been utilized so we did that we made a meal plan based on what we had and then probably about halfway through the week something like that i did go to the store and do a, like a small grocery haul was small for me but i spent 70 dollars so this is my 50 that I have left, left. And plus I knew the Thanksgiving sales would probably start this week and I was right. All right, so this is the 50 I have left, but I'm not gonna put this, you know, as extra or toward a saving challenge. I'm gonna roll this over because I saved it on purpose. All right, my spending, looks like we got a little bit left there. It's a five, ten, 
11, 12, 13, 14 dollars. We'll put that to the side. Gas, y'all already know. Y'all already know what it is. 40 bucks. I didn't spend gas. Who put the money? Who put the gas in the car? Mr. Aryan Budgets. Thank you, babe. All right, so we'll set that to the side for now because I'll get all confused. So let's go ahead and stuff my wallet. So let's see what we got here. I hope I got the right amount. 20, 40, 60, 80. 1, 20, 40, 60, 80. 2, 20, 40. All right, so here's the deal. I'm contributing $60 to... I hate to stack this up like this. Hold on, that looks junky. Oh, okay. So I'm contributing $60 in addition to the 60 I normally take off the top for our 3K savings challenge. So because of that, it made me have $300 up in here. And if y'all haven't heard me or read any of my comments on other people's videos, Mr. RM Budgets is not having all that cash around the house so um it got up to 300 so instead of even getting that out the bank i knew it would equal up to 300 this week so i got the rest out i think we were at 180 last week and the 60 from my spending and the 60 from my paycheck that i was adding in brought us to 300 so i went on ahead and put that in the bank all right because I don't want to hear his mouth. All right. So one, two, three, four, five, sixty dollars, and that makes three hundred. All right. So that's that for right now. We'll be back to that in a second. All right. Back to this. So now the money makes sense. So essentials gets one hundred and twenty every week. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one hundred, one twenty, plus our fifty. I'm not even about to do it now. I know it's 170. I'm not about to count it because that 50 had me all tripped up through all five of those five, $20 bills. So it's 170, okay? And that's for um, my groceries this week. All right? Spending 60 again, 20, 40, 60. And probably by January, I'm going to cut this way down because I'm trying to save every little penny i do mean every gas of course i'll still put 40 in at first i said i was gonna stop stuffing at 20 40 but i don't know it's something about having it in i don't know why having it in this wallet helps me but i just feel like if i put it in the bank or something like i'll just be frivolous with it and spend it so gas and then unbudgeted gets that last 20 dollars Uh, let's see all right and that's it of course you know if i'm couponing i didn't even think i oh i stuffed couponing with my paycheck so that's why i really didn't have anything i used my spending on those off weeks and this is just i scanned this receipt and i don't know why i put it back in here so those are receipts i scanned and that's it the wallet is done all right now we're going to move on to the more difficult part and that's going to be the stuffing of my bi-weekly um, sinking funds that I do for my paycheck. And then we got to finish this whole situation here. So let me get that money and I'll be right back. Alrighty guys, and we're back with the money from my paycheck. I, I literally had to record this as a separate video because it took me so long to get this straight and know what I was doing and I don't, it was a mess. Anyway, it's not very much. We got 50, 100, look at this, look at this. Just look at this old 50, all the bills they gave me. Cruddy, hot mess. 50, 100, 20, 40. 
So I think what we'll do is we'll stuff first and then we'll move on to the challenges that I'm continuing through these next couple months. I reduced my sinking funds to like, to me, to us, the most necessary funds. And that being car TLC, because we can't keep no money in it anyway. So obviously it's needed, okay? Y'all, these bills is just nasty, okay? They're really nasty. Um, But car maintenance, all right? Because we had 30 in there. Of course, then we needed another tire. I don't know if it's Tennessee. I don't know what it is, but every time I look up, something is up with a tire. Okay, so we need another tire. 30 was not enough because it's a Benz and whatever. It's a big tire, but I contributed 30, okay? Mr. Iron Budgets had to do the rest. Um, so today I already updated my tracker. We're going to put 50 in here and see if that will help us build up. Okay, this old ugly one. We'll put that in car maintenance because guess what? It probably ain't going to be in there next week anyway. All right, so car TLC, $50. We're planning to do 100 a month in the few sinking challenges that we decided to keep. Date night, ultra important. Okay, we used that too. I treated my boo to lunch. All right, so this time we're going to put 50 in date night. It should be open. And I updated that tracker as well. And then the only other sinking fund I'm keeping is my niece's wedding which her wedding is not until next year in July in the Dominican Republic. So that is of course um, an electronic fund because hopefully I might be able to build up some interest in that account while it's sitting there. And I added 50 today, which this is prop money, 150.75. So we're at 175 for this fund and it's in my Capital One 360 account. Um, what else is back here? This is for any coins I have and any receipts that I may end up with. All right. So let's move on. Oh, I forgot my, my challenge. Ain't that something? Where is it at? Okay. So let's do, uh, these challenges. All right, I'm all, I'm all just discombobulated, y'all. So this money, is, some of it was extra. Some of it, I put it to the side, like, during the week. Um, but let's start with our finish strong. Finish strong, look at that, y'all. We halfway there. It's out the way. We're halfway there, okay? So we got $1,500. So, of course, my husband made me put it in the bank. Um, yeah, he did. He made me put it in the bank. So, anyway. That envelope is back in the back. I already had the $1,000 placeholder, but I added 500 because I don't have a $500 placeholder. So one, two, three, four, five. Black and blue, I see what you be talking about. Those prop bills feel a lot thicker. All right, so that's 1500 Woo! And finish strong. So we got four more pay periods to go. Uh... I don't know what happened. It got wet. Don't mind that. It's what's in it that counts. We already went over this. That's 300 in the 3K. Okay. The $500 challenge, I got the money right here. And I X'd off, I think I want to say an 8 and 12. And then a 10, 5, 5, and 5. I don't know. Whatever this is. 20. 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 45, going into the $500 savings. Let's see, is it open? Let's see what we had in there. So, let's see what we are up to. This one had been exhausted too, so 20, 40, 65, 6, 7, 8, 9, 71, 2, so 72, dollars in this one five hundred dollars savings all right um what's this in the front thanksgiving i'm gonna start putting money aside because you know my special days and all that it was it was lacking it was lacking real hard so we're gonna put a hundred dollars in there 
20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 60, 80, 100. Going in Thanksgiving, this is Jordan. Um, Jordan's um, little envelope. I just used the little thing and I've made my little gold so it will match. So $100 for Thanksgiving. I don't have a lot of time to build that up. So, all right. Next, we're going to do Gabby's. This is my money for Gabby. All right, so I filled in one, two, three, four bags, which my bags are $10 each, 10, 20, 30, 40. So we got 20, 35, 40. I need to make an envelope for Gabby. All right. Then my, I didn't color this in yet, and I'm not going to have y'all sit and watch me color 17 days in because I don't get paid again till the 18th. So I'm going to put my uh, $1 in, even though it's a $2 challenge today. I'm going to add the $17 because I don't think I have enough change to do it $2. Let's see if it's 17 that's 34. Let me see. Mm, I don't think I could do it. Wait a minute, maybe. 30. Yeah, I could do it. One, two, three, four. All right. So here's my $34 for my investing challenge. $2 a day. That'll take me up to the 17th. And I get paid on the 18th and I'll do the remainder of the month. All right. Those are my challenges. Let's see if we can kind of Gabby's and that one. Let me pull Gabby's down some. All right, and this should be my $50 coupon and money. Yep, 20, 40, 50 for my couponing. All right, and I brought my little envelope. I didn't forget, because you know it stays in my wallet. My $50 and couponing, ah, and I'm done. You guys, thank you. Thank you for watching. I'm sorry if I was all scatterbrained today, but I've been busy with work all day and with this new federal mandate, like it's been crazy. So I've been rushed, but I already have grocery hauls recorded. So be looking out for that. I'll probably post that my grocery haul Friday or Saturday. And then the other day I'll see if I can post a couponing video last week the sales weren't great so i didn't even bother um but i should be able to do one for both stores family dollar and dollar general this week so be looking out for that don't forget to subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up i know it was crazy but i got it done okay and i think i did a lot all right i'm really trying to stick to my new budget so that i can be ready i paid one of those loans off that I said I put half on that second loan that I said I wanted to be done by November 18th. So I am on schedule. All right. I may do a check in maybe halfway through the month just to let you guys know exactly where I'm at on my new budget and keep myself accountable. But until then, don't forget to subscribe turn on your notification bell, and stay tuned for another video. As usual, you guys, I love you guys. I appreciate you, and I wish you peace, love, and prosperity. Bye-bye.